Hey guys, Richard here. Oh my goodness, have you seen me recently? I needed a haircut bad. I've needed a haircut all week. It's been a busy week. I haven't put out too many videos because uh, I've been doing other things and, and now it's Friday and it's like, man, I, I really, I need to get a video done, but I also need to get a haircut. And you know what? Without hesitation, uh, thinking about that haircut, not thinking about the video actually, just thinking about a haircut, I said, man, I need to run down and just go grab one. So without hesitation, I went out and grabbed my helmet and jumped on the, started to jump on the bike. And then it kind of hit me. You know what? It's getting to the point now where, where I need to make short trips and errands and stuff. I don't, I don't even think about jumping in the truck and going somewhere. I just jump on the bike without hesitation. And that's what I did this time. But the problem is, do you see the sky? Yeah, sky's looking kind of nasty. So, I just checked the radar. And apparently we're going to get some rain. And we're going to get it here pretty quick. So guess what? Now, I'm not going to get a haircut. I will. I'll just uh, jump in the truck and, and have to take the truck anyway. I've been saving a lot of gas because I do a lot of these short trips now, riding an e-bike, and I saw a post just yesterday, I believe it was, on social media, where someone was commenting the same thing. They said, you know, we, I put about a half a tank of gas in my vehicle a month now because I just don't, I don't use it much because he uses his bike for everything, and, and that's, you know, <laughs> it's not necessarily how they were originally intended, I guess. People buy them just because of the... Uh, it being fun and being able to be mobile and get out and enjoy the area but then they started realizing hey I'm just gonna run to the store because it's so much fun and that's how it kind of started with me and so now I just jump on the bike anytime I need to run down to the store or run some errands and so yeah we're helping save save some gas save some emissions I guess um, but mostly just having fun so yeah but it's unfortunate now look the sky in that direction is if you can see that nice blue sky puffy white clouds scattered about even over here in this direction yeah but look back in this direction and it's, it's getting ready to roll in here on us oh well so i'll stay in the neighborhood knock out this video for you uh, so, what else is happening? A haircut's not happening at the moment, so I'll go get one of those shortly. Um, looks like I'll, I'll get a chance to make a rainy day video today. So I'll probably do that here in a little while too. I've got a couple things, a couple important things I want to talk about. One is regarding the electric brand. So if you follow electric, you may have already seen the recall notice. So that's kind of huge news. I'm going to talk about that. And uh, I'm going to try to work on the uh, Magic Cycle Deer today and uh, get that basket installed on the back. So that's going to require a little modification, but I'm going to try to knock that out today too. So um, hopefully I have a couple of videos ready for you soon. Also, this morning, uh, I decided to go ahead and post a couple of advertisements out there on Facebook for for a couple of the e-bikes, some of the more budget-friendly e-bikes that I received recently that I need to move on out because it's not something I'm going to keep. And also the Mojo Bison Pro, I've had it listed for a little while and I dropped the price a little bit, so um, I, uh, I took new pictures of those and freshened up the advertisements and got those posted and so now my phone's blowing up. So I spent the first hour just responding to what looked like legitimate people asking questions about the, the four different bikes, actually three bikes, and I'm also selling off the uh, that Yadia KS6 Pro scooter because it's fun. I you know I like it, but it's not something I need to be riding around on. So move those guys out, reinvest that money maybe in a, another bike or something. But yeah, so that's. Uh, my phone's been blowing up and I've been answering questions for an hour or so and it's like man I got things I'm gonna need to do and 
trying to weed out the spam bots that just send you all those generic messages. I don't respond to those. And well, there's my neighbor Tom. Say hey, Tom. I said, say hey. Hey, what's happening, guys? <laughs> what are you out doing? I saw you cutting grass earlier. I have to go see him because he's one of the people that don't have his phone number anymore. Oh yeah, because you watch your phone. Get everybody. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, I sent you mine, so you got, should have that now. Yes, I got yours. Right on. Got Lisa's. Oh, she's home. I gotta get her. I didn't know it was about to rain on us. I was getting ready to yeah. head down to go get a haircut down there. Well, that's why I decided to run. And walk then back I started to looking around. I looked up the radar, and here it comes. I thought, oh man. That's why I, I, I went back and grabbed the bike because I was gonna walk down. What's but this? What's ball. this modification right here? Hey guys, check out the modification he did to the uh, Zora Master. So that's his fishing pole uh, holder. So that's a regular fishing pole rack, and then you just zip tied it to the back of the rack. That is awesome. Yeah. That's working great, isn't it? <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you take care. Stay dry. <laughs> oh, so there's my neighbor Tom. So I saw him cutting grass this morning. Normally he doesn't cut grass on Fridays. It's just Monday through Thursday. He's taking care of lawns and things. But he lost his phone, or actually his his Apple account got hacked this week, and um, I don't know. They cleaned out a bunch of his files and did something to his phone and he and uh, he lost everything on his phone so he's going around now to all of his friends and clients here in the neighborhood and he's trying to get everybody's phone number again so he can get everything set back up in his uh, in his phone uh, so where were we anyway so yeah selling some stuff and my phone's blowing up and I'm trying to weed out the spammers and just respond to what looks like legitimate uh, uh, people looking uh maybe looking to make a purchase or something so uh, yeah look here since i started this ride what is it there's i don't know there's several several notifications that already came in look at that well oh, not that one. Oh yeah there's three three more right there i need to check out and respond to maybe so i don't know let's go back out here again yeah, it's still getting a little darker. It's getting closer. And that's the direction I need to go to get, you know, the haircut, so. Doggone it. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Oh, well. It will happen, just not on the bike. So, let me know. Hey, what do you guys think about, um, you know, if, if, did you buy your e-bike, for those that you own them, did you buy it? thinking you're just going to use it for fun just scooting around and then have you found out that you know what I'm actually using this for you know for running errands and stuff is that kind of how it worked out or, or did you buy an e-bike with the intent of using it for you know maybe commuting to work or you know taking the kids to school or something like that I'm curious to know what your story is because you know what we all have a story it's story time so maybe share your story down below and join the community and and yeah get a, get a chance to know each other's back history a little bit how you got started in e-bikes that's cool to know hey we were here before i run through here again so i was talking earlier when i rode through here but i didn't mention man look at this lake it is still way down because we've had such a drought We've had a couple of good rains here recently. So the rain that's coming in now, hopefully it'll dump on us pretty hard and because we really need it. But oh my goodness. Down several feet. I don't see any alligators. So I, I saw a big alligator yesterday. You've heard me talk about the big alligator that's in the lake behind my house. And I've only seen him one other time at a distance. Well, I saw him yesterday. And he was kind of slowly passing by our backyard, but he was still out in the water quite a ways. But the only thing I could see was his head, because that's typically all you see. In fact, if you're familiar with alligators, really all you typically see is the snout that the snout that sticks up a little bit, and then their eyeballs. But based on that alone, I could kind of get an idea of how big his head was. Yeah, he's a big guy. He's a big guy. But um, I went out there to try to get a better look at him and uh, he was like I said off quite a ways but that spooked him he dove down into the water and didn't come back up so which is what they do most of them they stay away from people unless they want to eat you 
it's been known to happen too. All right, so anyway, well, here's the deal. I need to go get my hair cut, so I'm going to take the, take the uh, Magicycle Deer here, put it back in the garage so it can stay nice and dry. I just saw Tom go whizzing by again. That's Tom's house right there. So I'm going to go and uh, put this away, go get a haircut, and then maybe start working on some additional videos. Yeah, there he went. I wonder if we can catch up to him. I could. Really shouldn't go that fast in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, do you? He's got something for me. No way! <laughs> That's the fourth time. <laughs> Was it really? Yeah. Saw this guy backing up. Oh. Why is he backing up? Then I look in front of his car. That's sitting there. You know, somebody's wallet. I'm like, ooh, that's not who's, who's it belong to. Of course, you remember mine. I saw the picture. Tom, Tom, that's the fourth time I've lost my wallet. Is it really? Always in your front pocket. Side pockets is where it needs to be. Is it? Yeah. Oh good. I always put mine in my front pocket. It's my back yeah. pocket for some reason. I always. Lose I, it. I know because it it just sits right there where the seat is, and it just kind of pushes, pushes it right it. out. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I was getting ready to go park this so I could go get a haircut, and I wouldn't be able to pay for the haircut. Yeah, no, that wouldn't have been good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, it happened again. Can you believe that? In a hurry, thinking, I'll just make a quick video for you guys since I can't you know, go very far, and I'll just zip around the neighborhood so I can go get in the truck and go get a haircut. And I lose my freaking wallet again what's up with that so I know I know I know you, most people learn from their mistakes okay I, I don't necessarily learn from my mistakes it takes me a while but I really need to get one of those biker wallets got the chains on it right so I can just chain it to me ah, I see that in my future and that's not my style but probably what I'm gonna have to do this is embarrassing I'd like to cut this out of the video but I won't because I'm honest. Hey, it happened. So, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe because we have all kinds of crazy fun on this channel sometimes. And uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Just no hate, no hate mail, no comments about the wallet. We'll just we'll just let that one go this time. <laughs> you guys take care.